and an investment banker is scheduled to appear in a Georgia court today, which may be surprising since he's not supposed to be alive. That's right. He's under arrest after allegedly faking his own death and going underground. Authorities say he dramatically changed his look while on the run. Mark Strassman is in Atlanta with this story. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Uh, Aubrey Lee Price is back from the dead. The Georgia bank banker staged his own suicide, but the accused con man was arrested after a routine traffic stop about 100 miles from where his family lives in the southern part of Georgia. An 18-month manhunt had come to a sudden end. Aubrey Price, the button-down banker, looked little like this fugitive arrested two days ago after a traffic stop in South Georgia. The now 47-year-old disappeared after allegedly stealing millions of dollars from a Georgia bank he was helping to direct. In that role, federal officials say that Price orchestrated a complex investment scheme where he defrauded more than $40 million from over 100 investors. I cannot believe he had the nerve to hide out so close to home, number one, especially after so many people's lives were impacted. Price had not been seen since June of 2012 when he told his family he was leaving on a business trip. Two days later, he was captured on surveillance tape arriving in Key West, Florida and boarding a ferry to Fort Myers. In a rambling 25-page letter, Price wrote that he was going to kill himself because I created false statements, covered up my losses, and deceived and hurt the very people I was trying to help. And I'm emotionally overwhelmed and incapable of continuing in this life. Price was declared legally dead a year after his disappearance, but the FBI continued to pursue the case, believing he may have traveled to South America with more than $17 million of investors' money. His family had told investigators they believed he was dead, but now he's back and behind bars. This is a small community, you know, it's, it's rural, there's not a whole lot of big businesses, you know, it, it's sad. Later today, Price will make his first appearance in a federal courtroom in Brunswick, Georgia. He faces a possible 30-year prison sentence.